Hey, how's it going guys? In today's video, I'm going to go over, in my opinion, what the best way to make money in Escape from Tarkov is. I've put close to a, a thousand hours in this game since the Twitch drop events, and, and in my opinion, out of all the, the different strategies I've tried, this one worked the best. I pretty much only run this strategy on reserve, and it's put me close to about 65 million rubles or so. But in my opinion, it's definitely the best and the fastest way to make money. And also, it gives you a little bit of PvP, so you're not just having to walk around and go loot, loot for lead X's and stuff like that. And the only thing you really need is a gun that hits pretty hard and a thermal of some sort. But what it involves doing is, is going towards Black Pawn, White Pawn, and Black Bishop. And you're going to want to end up setting up on the rooftops of these buildings. Uh, you can do this, this strategy solo. I find it a little more effective when you're running it with at least one more teammate. Uh, just to have a little, another set of eyes and a little extra help. But yeah, you're going to want to get on the rooftops. And from these rooftops, you can hold down pretty much this whole portion of the map. Uh, that's what makes this strategy so effective. You can put one person on white pawn roof and one person on black pawn roof. And the white pawn roof guy can kind of watch dome. They can watch the button. They can watch towards sewer manhole mechanic. Um, they get shots on white queen. A little bit of white bishop, uh, black bishop. And then Black Pawn obviously can watch some of those same same angles, but they also can watch West Open, uh, Hole in the Fence, some shots towards like Scav Lands and stuff like that. And if you spend any time on Reserve, you know the, the games on Reserve can kind of vary. Some games you can run into some super geared players. Other games can be very quiet, uh, a lot of rats, hatchet runners, things of that nature. But from these rooftops, you're at least guaranteed to see someone going for drop down in Black Bishop. And also people rushing towards the marked building to, to unlock marked room. And with the thermals, these are pretty much free kills just because of how quickly you can spot people and how quickly you can get shots. Especially with two of you, I mean, you're pretty much guaranteed, guaranteed to kill them. Especially with the spawns. There's several spawns around this area. So like I said, if you can just get to those rooftops and secure this area, it's going to be a pretty constant flow of players coming in. And you can kind of sit up here. Uh, we, we'll typically sit up there for a while, kill what we can kill. Uh, and when it starts to get dead, we'll go loot them and then and kind of move on to something else. But really, your only threat when you're sitting up there is, especially if you, you don't necessarily have to play the roofs. Uh, I like to play the roofs on White Palm. But if you're going to play the roofs, you need to be careful because teams can rotate from dome. And, and players with thermals can spot you relatively quickly. So what I'll do is I'll get on the roof of White Pond. I do a lot of strafing, moving, and you can kind of bait shots that way. If someone shoots at you, you can kind of pinpoint where it's coming from uh, and put shots back on them. But if you don't like if you don't like strafing around and, and feeling like you're really exposed, you can go, uh, especially on White Pond, on the side of the building towards the button. Uh, on like I think it's like the third floor or so, or so. You can kind of get on the stairs and get pretty good angles, and then you can go in the windows behind the stairs and watch Dome pretty well. But as far as the build goes, you can you can use several different guns uh, with for this particular strategy. I prefer the M1A. The M1A, in my opinion, is the best gun in the game. It's my favorite gun in the game. Um, it's very useful, long range, medium, and short range, uh, especially if you build it right. And I can do a separate video on the build for the particular build for this gun if y'all want to. And I know a lot of people have a lot of negative opinions about running thermals, and my whole take on it is, especially with reserve, I don't run thermals a lot on other maps. But reserve is so open and there's always players running the thermals. So if you're not running a thermal, you're kind of just at an instant disadvantage to these guys that are running around with them, especially if you're already outnumbered to begin the fight. So putting this thermal on, is, it's just another way to kind of level the playing field. And especially on a map like this that's so open and there's so many windows and different places people can be. With this thermal, you can really knock off angles and clear certain areas of the map very quickly. Just like in this particular fight, we were doing the strategy and we saw these people up towards Dome. Uh, we ended up getting some good shots on them, some good tags. So we decided to push up. Uh, we killed one and then we killed... My teammate had ended up killing one while we were on the rooftops. And then this guy here, I'm going to end up hearing him above me. And I'm going to push towards these uh, the metal staircase here and kind of just draw a couple bait steps just to get him to peek. So my teammate ends up kind of coming, peeking a little bit of a wider angle and we end up killing this guy. But it's just another good example of how well the strategy can work. Without thermals, I mean, unless we had a, a good ranged optic and we happened to look up towards this dome, we probably would have never seen these guys. Um, and these guys aren't don't end up being too terribly geared, but they do have, I mean, they do have decent gear on them. But as you'll see uh, a little bit further in this video, um, we're, I'm, we're going to end up killing a guy that's, that's, that's pretty geared. He's got a lot of good stuff on him. Uh, end up making around 2.5 million off of him, but we'll get into that once we get a little closer to it. 
and having the red rebel and the the paracord also the the dome extract is so close to to the roofs of these buildings so if you ever do kill someone that's super geared or you, maybe you kill scab boss and that's another another reason this strategy is so effective if scab boss does happen to be in black bishop or black pawn you can set up in certain spots and shoot them all through the windows and pretty much kill all of them without even having to sweat but yeah the the extract being right there is also super nice if you do end up getting stacked up on loot like i said you can kind of just run up towards dome and get out of there pretty quickly but you're going to see here uh we end up doing a lot of cleaning up here just kind of killing some scavs we knew there were some more players on this map we only killed three pmcs uh, so counting us, that was only five we knew of. I can't. We may have killed. I can We may have killed some drop down too in this game. I can't remember. I ended up editing some of this video out. Uh, but like like I said, you'll see here we kind of clear things up, and I end up running into this guy. He's out towards east, open towards the bunkers, towards uh, Bishop Garage, and, and we'll get. I'll get to that in just a second. But uh, yeah, like I said, we're just kind of clearing it out here. But like another, you can just tell how quickly you can spot things with the thermal from any of these vantage points up on reserve. Like I said, reserve's so open, so with especially with the Reap IR, the Reap is my favorite. I like it a lot better over the, the FLIR, just because it's a lot darker and the white kind of sticks out a little bit more. But here you see this guy uh, out towards bunkers. And like I said, without a thermal, I don't even know that I spot this guy. And if I do, I don't know if I see him and have enough time to be able to put as many shots into him as I do. Uh, but like I said, yeah, we end up putting him down, and we could I could tell through the thermal he had a nice size backpack on him, so I figured he had some pretty solid gear. And the crazy thing is, with the new update that just came out, technically this this raid in this particular video is honestly not even possible anymore. In the current form of of the game, you would literally need a wheelchair to get out of here with the the amount of loot that I end up having on me, but. Trust me, guys. If you're hurting on, if you're hurting in money, maybe you've had some bad raids, uh, and you and your boys are on or whatever. Try this strategy one one time. Leave in the comments if you do try this strategy. Let me know how if it's working for you, how much money you're making, who you're killing, how the fights are going, uh, and I can give some more some more tips and tricks. I've, I've done this strategy a, pr a pretty good handful of times. I made a lot of money doing it, uh, and, and I, I like PvP. I'm a very aggressive guy. Uh, so this strategy is kind of fun for me. I don't like running around looting, looting for barter items and stuff like that. I kind of like getting straight into the action uh, and trying to constantly fight and shoot as many people as I can. So this strategy kind of caters to my play style. Uh, but like I said, if you're someone that, that kind of has that rat mentality, I mean, this can work too. Get you a gun, maybe a budget gun that hits very hard. Uh, strap you a reap on there and, and the, the benefits will show pretty quickly. I, I can promise you that. But I can, I can also do another video on the spawns of this game. If you learn this, especially on reserve, interchange is another one. Uh, really all the maps. If you learn the spawns and learn where people are going to be coming from, you can get a lot of very quick, easy kills, especially on reserve. So if y'all want me to do a video on that, just let me know. I definitely can. But as you see here, we're walking up on this guy, uh, and you're just going <laughs> to... You're going to get a, just a, an idea of how geared this guy is. He had an airframe, R, a completely kitted RSS, SKS. Uh, he has an AVS rig that ends up being loaded down with, I think, two U-locks, two tank batteries, uh, a decent little modded AK. And to this day, this is, this is one of the most geared guys I've ever killed in this game. Just as far as the, the amount of loot and the amount of money this guy has on him. I'm assuming he uh, maybe had some boys with him. And they happened to die, and he was trying to get out with their gear. Either that, or he ended up just killing a full full team of guys. Uh, but I mean, yeah, he had he even had some barter stuff on him. As you see there, he's got the fil the filter and motor. Uh, like I said, he's got the AC helmet. He ends up having two U locks in here as well. But again, in today's current state of this game, this this particular raid just isn't. I mean, the raid it's it's possible you can kill someone like this, and you can definitely take what you can take. Uh, but as far as being able to come out with as much stuff as I do here and make as much money off it, it's just not possible anymore. Uh, but yeah, you guys, for sure leave in the comments. Uh, let me know how y'all are feeling about the update. I'm currently kind of on the fence about it. Uh, it just feels, it felt to me like when they first dropped the update, it was it was a little too brutal. And then now it kind of feels like they, they nerfed it too much to the point where it's really not even worth having, in my opinion, anymore. Uh, the whole point of this game for me was killing that super geared guy and having that satisfaction of walking up and something like this and you just see how much stuff, especially for like new players when you're learning and you get you kill those guys that are geared and you get excited and you get all that good loot uh, and you walk out of there and make all that money. It's just not possible anymore. Now you just kind of have to pick and pick and choose what you what you take and I don't know, man. I just I, me personally, I'm not big on it. I like running. I like moving and, and just kind of flying around the map. 
Uh, so obviously I'm going to not like it, but I don't know. Just le leave in the comments. Y'all let me know. I'm, I'm not too big on it, like I said, but, but who knows? Maybe we'll get some fixes in the future. And also I'd I'm interested to see how it plays when you have your strength and your endurance skill leveled up, uh, but we'll see. And here's another reason uh, having a teammate so so important for me in this strategy, especially, uh, is, is like right there, I kill that super gear guy, and my teammate's constantly covering me there as I loot. That that took me a good a good little while to get through and sort through all that loot. Uh, so having him to kind of watch my watch my back there was was very crucial. But anyway, uh, I want to save towards the end of this video. I'm going to go over. I didn't want to hammer some of you guys that just want to get in here and watch watch the basics of the video. I didn't want to get y'all too much with the YouTube stuff. Uh, but towards the end of this video here, I'm going to kind of get into to Obviously, this is my first YouTube video. I'm not I'm not the greatest at editing, so bear with me on, on this video in general. But I'm going to kind of get into to me personally in this channel and kind of what I'm about. Um, mainly stream competitive FPS shooters. Uh, we do some third person, obviously. I played a lot of Fortnite, done a lot of that. But I kind of want to get into what I'm about personally. Um, in this particular stream, if any of you guys know a lot, watch a lot of anything about Nick Merckx, um, he's kind of a role model that I look after when I go into the streaming thing. I want to do a lot of the things he does when it when it comes to giving back to the community. Uh, a lot of you guys, if, if I ever make it at anything streaming, content creation, anything like that, y'all are y'all are literally going to be the reason any of that happens uh so i want to do the best i can to get back to you guys that's why subscriptions in the channel follows uh like i said subs donations anything it, it just goes a long way and especially for you guys like i said that are willing to, to give out of your pocket to give back to me it just means a lot man i want to do literally whatever i can to get back to y'all so that's why uh in the future Sub subs are definitely going to have a priority over everybody else when it comes to giveaways and stuff like that. Uh, but even subs aside, anybody that's willing to support the stream, man, it's it's gonna it's gonna end up paying dividends in the long run. I'm gonna try and do my best to do constant giveaways. Turn, I want to really get into the tournament game with you guys. I want to do community tournaments uh, for money. Obviously, I want to give away money to winners. But like I said, that's gonna do it for this video. Uh, I'm gonna definitely be making more. Y'all be sure to stop by the stream, man. I love hanging out with you guys. love getting to know you guys. Uh, like I said, more YouTube videos coming down the pipe. And if you are somebody that knows a lot about editing YouTube videos, you like editing YouTube videos, uh, hit me up on Twitter in the DMs, uh, at bharptv. Uh, I'm willing to pay you guys. If, if you make quality, quality content, I'll definitely be down to pay you guys uh, to help me out a little bit in the YouTube department. But anyway, man, y'all hit that like button. Let's smash that like button. Y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel. Come hang out at the Twitch channel. Uh, follow the, the Twitter. I'm going to be doing some giveaways. Uh, we'll see you on the flip side. Peace.